All right, let's move on to the Brewers and start with who they added, who they lost. Yeah, definitely a a bit of a new look for the Brewers this year. Jesse Winker is a name they added, um, and that name might not like sound super exciting after the year he had last year, but let's remember the player he was the the literal year prior with the Reds. All-star. Stud. Goes to Seattle. Not very good. Now he's in Milwaukee. Maybe he needed a bit of a change of scenery. We'll see whether mm-hmm. last year was the anomaly or or what. But the Brewers add Jesse Winker. They add Luke Voigt. And they add William Contreras. Somehow. I don't know. The winner of the A's and Braves trade that sent Sean Murphy to the Braves was the Brewers. Somehow. They yeah. literally just landed William Contreras in their lap. I don't oh, know how it happened. But <laughs> he's very good. He was an all-star last year, and that's a good addition. Uh, some losses. Andrew McCutcheon, Colton Wong, Hunter Renfro, all out the door for the Brewers. All right. Who is going to be your hitter to watch for the Brewers? It's got to be Christian Yellich. Yep. It's got to be. This guy was – there was a period of time where it was him and Cody Bellinger as – the best hitters in the National League, and they were going back and forth for who's going to win the MVP award. And both of them have gone in the opposite direction. Major decline. Christian Yelich, not as sharp of a decline, hit 252 last year, 14 homers, 57 RBIs, 19 stolen bases. But we need better. We need him Mm -hmm. to get back to hopefully the, the form he was in. Back in his uh, MVP, you know, fighting for MVP days. So, Christian Yelich, most important hitter in this lineup. Who's going to be your pitcher to watch for the Brewers? Freddie Peralta. Okay. We, uh, I'm a huge fan of Corbin Burns. Yeah. I love me some Corbin Burns. And you know what Corbin Burns is going to do this year? He's going to be it. in the conversation for the Cy Young Award. Yeah. We know that. Freddie Peralta can add the depth to the rotation. We saw last year he became a question mark. Injuries down the stretch, tried to come back, injuries again. Um, Not his elite self when he was back. Ended up with a 3-5 ADRA last year. But he's, he's better than that, and I believe he can be. So what do we get this year from Freddie Peralta? I think is it going to be all-star caliber Freddie Peralta, or is it or is it going to be dealing with lingering injuries all year long, which, uh, God, I hope that's not the case. But mm-hmm. um, he's super important to this pitching staff. All right. And your breakout player for the Brewers. Garrett Mitchell. Love this name. Um, fun fact, I was just talking about Jordan Walker. Same draft, one pick ahead of Jordan oh. Walker. He was the 20th okay. overall pick out of UCLA. This guy – Kind of does it all. He's he's an outfielder. He's going to be really good for the Brewers, I think. 311 last year, two homers, nine RBIs, and 28 games. So full season of full season of Garrett Mitchell. Yeah. Count me excited. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. I can tell by your facial expression. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.